So here we are, uh, midday of day 14 for Arrive for a Dream. Mm -hmm. uh, we have done 1,450 or so kilometers so far, um, including a rest day. So we're averaging uh, a little over 100, 100k an hour, or 100k a day rather. Mm -hmm. uh, I wish 100k an hour. That'd be great. Um, it's gotten really hot. We're sunburnt. We're hungry. A little tired. All these things are true. Yeah. Thank you. Um, got lucky yesterday. Uh, had a pretty good ride. Got a little windy just outside of Nipagon. Nipagon. Right. Got pretty crazy, actually. Yeah, it was it was crazy. Like, we were going out at a good clip, and then suddenly we just stopped um, 20k out because uh, of the wind. The headwind just shifted. And, and so we made it into Nipagon for, what, 6 o'clock? I guess? Yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. So 6 o'clock we roll in, and it's a Sunday. It's, it's actually it's Mother's Day, so the place is pretty dead, except for one restaurant. We go in, and we ordered we ordered a pizza. I did. I ordered I a lasagna. Yes. And massive and we helpings. Shared, we shared uh, garlic, garlic bread, bread yeah. before that. We packed it away. It was brilliant. Um, and then we get talking to some of the locals, and I mean, it's a town of maybe a thousand people, I guess. And... An old rail town. And, uh, gentleman Mike? Yep, Mike's Mike, his name. Of course. Um, says, well, listen, you know, I run a, I run a hunting and fishing lodge. You, you guys should just stay at my place. I have showers, I have beds. So, um, quite, quite gracious. I mean, uh, it was definitely nice. We hadn't showered since Sault Ste. Marie a week ago. Yeah. At the Husky? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The ride. Oh, and then and then uh, Danny says that he um, that he hasn't seen bears. Now we saw a moose um, just on the way to Marathon, but no bears. So Mike says, "Well, pack up your stuff, hop in my truck, let's go for a cruise." And we go for a ride for a good hour. Yeah, good down hour and a half. Crazy back roads oh, yeah, of Nipigon. Middle of nowhere. Um, roads that you never know were there. And we saw what maybe like a one one and a half year old type bear, like yeah. young young little guy. Um, we saw two on their own. Yeah, that's right. That's right. The second one too. Um, then we get to the end, and Mike realizes that he's almost out of gas. <laughs> so we turn around. And we start coming back into Nipigon, and the sun is pretty much set. And we see a bear mother and her th was it three cups? Two. No, it was, it was two, two on the one pole and one on the other. No. Yeah. Was it? it was I only saw two cubs. I saw three. Well, you're crazy. I am crazy. <laughs> With So, mom and her cubs, um, just kind of hanging out. So, I uh, tried to get some photos. They didn't really turn out all that well because the sun had set and it was too dark. But, um, yeah, so they came back, showered up, and uh, had a dry, warm sleep for the first time. On an air mattress yeah. for me. Yeah, I slept on a, on a cot, but it was nice. It was really nice. So, yeah, and then this morning got up, um, went to breakfast, ended up running into Mike at breakfast because he had already left, um, and scoffed some down, hopped on the road to get to Thunder Bay, and yeah, we, we made good time for the first half, and then the wind, of course, shifted again, had more headwind, and so we kind of crawled at a, a bit of a snail's pace. So, yeah, and now we are, we're here in Thunder Bay. And uh, where, where better, I think, than, you know, to, to find inspiration than at the Terry Fox Memorial. I'm just gonna... Bam! There it is, suckers. Feast your eyes. You know, I, I, and it's crazy, actually. I, I was sitting here with Danny, and I was thinking to myself, you know, he was, he was the same age as us. Um, like, the exact same age. Um, doing his, you know, doing his marathon of hope, and actually, and I, I got to read this quote because I think it's really beautiful. It's uh, dreams are made if people only try. I believe in miracles. I have to because somewhere the hurting must stop. And I think there's nothing better to embody our ride. I don't want to steal it, but you know, it's it's that's a very powerful message and. He had it right, but I think it's great to see. Anyway, I um, guess I'll wrap this up, but uh, yeah, we'll have another one up relatively soon.
We're not totally sure if we're going to take a rest day yet. Maybe. Um, we'll see how we feel after we eat. Yeah. But then we're trying to make our way out of the province. It'll take another six days, but we'll get there. Anyways, thanks for following, guys.